Today's mathematics is culture. And culture is not just the way of life, but it's the way that you live your life. A lot of people out here claim that they have a culture, but really they have a religion. The word religion, when you break it down, means to rely on. The word culture, when you break it down, it means to what? Cultivate. A lot of people have the ability or the tendency to rely on something other than themselves, which is why they call themselves Christian, Muslim, Jews, Hebrews, etc. They don't have the ability to utilize their natural culture to cultivate their lives the way they want it to be according to the rules and regulations of righteousness. See, the culture of a large 5% nation is supreme mathematics. Supreme mathematics is knowledge, wisdom, understanding, culture, power, equality, a law, God, build or destroy, born, and then a cipher. The culture is your customs. The culture is your language. The culture is also your what? Deeds. Everything in my culture is based off doing what's right and exact. I beg your pardon, I have never heard of a culture where a man wakes up in the morning with the thought and idea to lead another man or to have another man live according to his standards. This is the culture of supreme mathematics. And in the culture of supreme mathematics, we are all leaders of ourselves and leaders of our family. I don't need no man to lead me. Where he gonna lead me? He gonna lead me to hell, death, and destruction if I allow him to. Everything we say and everything we do is based off the intelligence that we have within self. That's why knowledge is the foundation. And to show and prove even more, take the word culture. C-U-L-T-U-R-E. And you mathematically add up each one of those letters. C is 3, U is 21, L is 12, T is 20, U is 21, R is 18, and E is 5. Now when you add that up, that comes out to 100. 1 plus 0 plus 0 equals 1. And one in our supreme mathematics is knowledge. So within our culture, when we deal with alphanumerics and we mathematically build them up, our culture borns knowledge. And knowledge is the foundation of all things that exist within your cipher. So you got to take this culture, which is the supreme mathematics, and born it out to what? The knowledge, which is your foundation, the knowledge of yourself, the knowledge of yourself and others. That's what we do with this culture. Then what we do after that? We look at the word culture, and we see that it has seven letters. C-U-L-T-U-R-E. Seven letters. Seven in our supreme mathematics is a law God. So even within the physical composition of the word culture, we have the very existence of a law. And what do we advocate? A law's culture, a law's teachings, a law's supreme mathematics, because that's who gave it to us. A law. 